If you're being presented with a cylinder that's quote unquote bad, there's some common practices that you should develop when you're trying to troubleshoot a cylinder. The first thing that I teach my students is take a step back, take a look at the cylinder. What's the nameplate on the cylinder? What's the DOT rating of the cylinder? Who's the manufacturer of the cylinder? That could give you some possible scenarios. Are there any K stamps on the cylinder that show that it's been repaired? If I have a three-year-old cylinder and I have four K stamps on it because it was sent out for repairs, that could give you one indication right there that there's probably something nefarious going on that may not, may not be uh, something that you can resolve. Um, but you take a look at the cylinder. Does it have any large dents in the side? Are all the components there? Are all the valve handles there? Are all the CGA fittings on there? Are all the tamper evident devices on there? And just look at the cylinder first. Then the, the most obvious thing would be to make sure that um, uh, the cylinder has a good vacuum on it. You can rule out the NER test. Radiman has a, an NER test flow meter that's, that's a, a, a very quick and convenient way of testing the NER. Once you're reassured that the cylinder has a good vacuum, you can start going through the different areas and troubleshoot. You know, could be a possible valve situation where valve seats will wear out and um, the pressure builder valve would be a perfect example. If the pressure builder valve is, is leaking and it's allowing the pressure builder to stay on constantly, the cylinder is going to give you a behavior where it's constantly building pressure, constantly relieving even though the pressure builder valve is closed. Again, there's a simple drop-in repair kit. Raderman sells those kits that will repair that valve quickly. Um, the old days, it used to have to be you know, a, a large bag of components and you rebuild it. Now it all comes pre-assembled. You take it out, you drop it in, and you're, go and you're going within minutes. Um, another scenario may be just a missing handle. Customer can't, can't get gas out of the product because the handle's missing. They sell just the handles. Replace the handles. Um, repair it and move on. The gauge, I can't, can I read the gauge? Is the gauge, is the gauge lens cracked or missing? Uh, is the needle bent on the gauge? If it is, replace it. Um, you know, another scenario could be a burst disc. If the burst disc is blown, you probably want to start looking for other reasons why the burst disc may have blown. They do um, fatigue over time and wear out, but it, it's a sign that the, that the vessel was overpressurized and it may need a, a further look. And that's, that's in the uh, advanced part of the course.